My name is Kevin Tokoff. In this video, we're going to discuss the theory behind the methyl red test. Okay, so methyl red, we hopefully know by now, we've seen it enough. It is a pH indicator that changes colors when you fluctuate between different pHs. Okay, now, in a methyl red test, what we're testing is the ability of the bacteria to convert pyruvic acid after glycolysis um, to mixed organic acids, which we won't actually name those, but we're just testing its ability to form mixed organic acids. Okay, so I have this little diagram here. So we're going to start out with something that contains glucose, okay? In fact, we're going to actually start with glucose. Glucose will go through glycolysis to form pyruvic acid or pyruvate. And then the pyruvic acid could, if the bacteria is able to do this, convert this to mixed organic acids. Okay, so as we start with glucose, the methyl red is actually going to be a yellow color, okay? But as we go through glycolysis to form pyruvic acid and then further mixed organic acids, the mixed organic acids are actually going to titrate the methyl red with the decreasing pH to a red color, okay? So if we're doing a methyl red test and we see a red color develop, that means that the bacteria was actually able to convert the pyruvic acid into mixed organic acids after glycolysis, okay? One thing you should note is that the results of the methyl red test are very similar to the results of what we're going to look at in another video called the vogues proskauer test. They're very, very similar. But let's actually take a look at the specific results for the methyl red test. Fairly straightforward, if it's yellow like this, you can see here or up here, that is a negative methyl red test. That means that these bacteria do not have the ability to convert pyruvate to mixed organic acids. Over here, we clearly see this is red. Same thing over here, it's more diffuse here, but the principle is the same. We have a red result for a methyl red test. That means that these bacteria do have the ability to convert pyruvate into mixed organic acids, okay? And like I mentioned when in the one of the previous videos where we looked at the indole test, this is another test that's used to differentiate gram-negative bacillus bacteria, okay? Make sure to watch the demonstration on this, on this process, the methyl red test, and then we're also in the next video going to look at the Vogue's Briskauer test. Thank you.